Hey, what's up everybody? BMS Lou here. Hope everyone's doing well. I just want to do a quick follow-up on my uh, TV that I have here. It's been a couple months. I've actually had it calibrated and have went over a couple things with this TV since I've owned it. Uh, so this is just a quick follow-up video. It's been a couple months, like I said. Uh, and so here we are just looking at commercials. Um, right now, let me pull up the uh, WebOS on here real quick. So as you can see here, we got the WebOS. Uh, since I've actually had this TV a few months, uh, I've had it calibrated, which I'll get into here in just a moment. But real quick with this WebOS over here on the left side, it's actually going to show you any, uh, apps that you have previously opened that you could still easily get into. Uh, right here are the main ones that I personally use. You got the, this first one here, it's kind of hard to see. It's, uh, today. Uh, Netflix is second one, Amazon Video, Major League Baseball TV, YouTube, 3D, the LG Store, and there are some other ones here that you could, uh, that I keep back here. I don't use them that often, but you could easily move these up to the front if you wanted to do that. Um, I was watching uh, YouTube earlier, and so here's uh, one of my YouTube videos from a different channel that I have. Uh, I shot this video in 4K, actually, uh, from Walt Disney World on a vacation. Uh, like I said, with my GoPro, uh, it's loading. Hopefully it won't take too long to load. While that's loading, uh, one thing that I wasn't aware of is when you calibrate a TV, it actually gets quite dimmer, probably. It probably will be more dim when it's calibrated than what you were being, what you were watching it as prior to getting it calibrated. Uh, or when you buy it from the store, they have the settings set very high to make it look good and, uh, and they, um, overexpose, uh, the picture and the contrast, uh, which is actually the way that I was watching it. I'm not sure why this is taking so long to load. Honestly, we'll go back here. We go to home. here search I'll just search my uh, previous channel here it is right here but yeah the calibration uh, I'll just leave it on this for a minute actually with my other my other channel that I have but um one thing that I noticed I did totally have mine overexposed let me go in the settings here we are watching it right now on the uh, expert expert one mode right here you can see it's I don't know if you can see that but this has a pink dot so that's actually my calibrated settings and that's what we're watching it on now and previous or prior to my TV getting calibrated I watched it on standard you'll notice how bright it goes or maybe not maybe it won't actually from this setting but it does it actually is uh, quite different but maybe while this menu is up, it won't show that. I actually have never done it from here before. Uh, so here we go. Let me just go to this. Let's see if it will load now. So there it is loading. As soon as the video starts, I'll pause it. Okay, pause. So then now I'll go into my settings. And it should show you the difference. So again, right now we are on uh, Expert One, which is calibrated. And when I change it to standard, there you can see uh, actually how much brighter it got. A lot of people is going to say, whoa, that actually looks better like that. Uh, it very well may look better like that in your eyes. Uh, and that's very possible. Um, I kind of do think it looks better like this, the calibrated way. It's better for the TV. Uh, you're using the TV more the way it was supposed to be used uh, compared to the standard, which is going to actually use more energy with the TV. Uh, and so they told me when I got it calibrated to just go a few weeks. Don't change it back over to how you had it. You'll get used to it. And actually, I think I have gotten used to it. Uh, and so I am glad that I got it calibrated. I bought the TV through Best Buy through a price match with Amazon. And I feel like I've got a pretty decent price, although it's the time of this recording the price is even cheaper but it's been a couple months so that happens uh, I bought a package and extended warranty the mounting and the calibration all together and as you can see I got it mounted on my wall here 
Uh, I have it mounted with a Sanus tilt only mount. It's not a full motion mount, and it's mounted with um, it's mounted in metal studs because when I got the basement done, they didn't put enough wood behind my walls so I could mount it in wood. So I couldn't get a full motion that would work with the metal studs framing. And so here I am with this, but overall, uh, my wife complains the TV is too high. I think it's not too bad. I suppose it could be down about another foot possibly, uh, which would be better for her, but I'm really not complaining about it. But nonetheless, uh, we do enjoy the TV. It's been a good TV. Uh, it's been, you know, fun to have, um, work, you know, works out really good. Uh, another thing about this TV, uh, because I'm using the tilt mount, it is a little difficult to get behind the TV. We have an outlet in the top, like right about here behind the TV. So sometimes because it's mounted kind of high, it's hard to reach my arm over there. Uh, luckily I'm six, five, so I can kind of do it. Uh, but so if I have to unplug the TV to reset the, uh, the streaming or the internet with it, so I can definitely get, you may have to sometimes do that to assure yourself of getting, uh, 4k or ultra high def streaming through like the Amazon apps, which I'll actually go to right now here. Um, well, I can do that. Let me go into the Amazon app. <clears throat> Uh, but yes, so uh, other than that, it's a little difficult sometimes also to get into the side of the TV over here for the HDMI cords. If I want to plug in like my phone for a device or my Apple TV, I don't usually keep those always plugged in because I don't want cords hanging down behind there. Uh, but let's see, the uh, so here I am into the uh, Amazon Instant Video app and you can see I have the ultra high def. If you get this TV after this video and you do not notice this, you'll need to uh update the app to make sure you have the most recent app sometimes actually with having this tv i'll turn it on and i'll go into here to watch the show and um it or before i even get into the app it'll say update do you want to update or do you just want to update later so i always update it instantly so i have it because they might add new movies in here uh into the app that i wanted to, you know that i want to see and so here's just some of their ultra high def movies that they have and TV shows, uh, some of these I'm actually watching and really enjoy. Props to Bosch, really good show. Uh, but anyway, uh, really cool, really fun. Uh, I won't get into any of the videos right now on the Amazon app, but um, one thing I will say is when you start the movie, uh, they'll they'll have play and pause down here in the bottom, and over here it'll say. Uh, HD or Ultra HD or the HD might be grayed out. If you're watching, say, an old episode of the X-Files from the 90s, the HD will be there, but it'll be grayed out. So then you know you're watching standard definition. If you're watching ultra high def, uh, like Bosch is an ultra high def, it'll say ultra high def. And then you know you're watching it at the ultra high def uh, at the highest quality. Also, if you're watching Bosch and you know it's high def, and it says 1080p, then that's only because maybe people in your area, your internet's either not fast enough to play ultra high def or other people in your area are streaming or other people are using the app streaming. They say that all that has a little bit to do with it apparently. Uh, sometimes I'll watch Bosch and I'll just check it and it'll say ultra high def and I'll check it 10 minutes later and I'll watch, I'll, I'll just see what it's at and it'll say 1080p. So. Many times, not many times, but a couple times throughout some shows, on occasion, it will switch back and forth. Uh, and I do have uh, 60 megabyte speed uh, internet, and so I have plenty of speed uh, to watch ultra high def. They say you need 15 to 20 or 25 megabyte speed, uh, and I have 60, so I have plenty. Uh, but anyway, that's just one of the apps that you could look into here. I don't want this video to go too long. I just wanted to do, like I said, a quick follow-up on... Um, on how it looks and how it's been going for us. We actually enjoy it. Uh, real quick before I go, talk about the Harman, Harman Kardon speakers. Uh, we do uh, think, or I do definitely think that they are, um, they are better than if you buy just a normal TV. 
Uh, they definitely are an upgrade from standard TV high def stereo speakers. Uh, however, I don't really want surround sound down here, but I still maybe think that by the end of the year, I might want to get a sound bar so I have that audio really uh, down here underneath the TV uh, coming more towards me. Uh, the speakers on these do angle out just a little bit. I'll pick up this camera here and show you guys. Um, let's see if it's kind of hard. It's dark down here, but you can kind of see right there. They, there's speakers like that on each side of the TV. And so uh, they are better, like I said, but they're just not the best. And so if I could put a speaker, say, or a uh, sound bar, like, say, right down here, then I think we're going to be solid. So uh, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this quick video. Uh, I'll be pushing out some more videos. I'm, I might do another one on this TV uh, down the road here in a couple months and see how it's going at that point. But no issues with it. Um... So yeah, it's been fun. It's been good. Uh, again, my name is BMS Lou. Hopefully you guys found this a little bit entertaining and uh, worthwhile. Please like, share, comment, and uh, subscribe to my channel. I'll be doing a lot of videos on a new purchase that I did, uh, a brand new vehicle. So uh, any Subaru fans out there, I bought the new 2016 Subaru WRX. I'll be doing some videos on that. Uh, as well as I still need to do some more GoPro videos. So I'm keeping busy. And uh, yes. All right, everybody take care. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye.